Hello there, I'm Tim and he's John and this is How to Murder My Thorncraft Laboratory. <laughs> it went wrong. Wow, you've been chased by... <sighs> right, so, I don't know, regular viewers made last time... Oh God, just keep, keep, keep shooting at them, I'll try and explain. Oh God, what they dropped? Oh, that's that... Oh God, you're... yeah, get that in the A system quick. You're going to be contaminated. Look at the fallout as well. Oh, my candles are everywhere. So, um, <laughs> yes. So we're doing a little bit of pre-show prep, and he asks me, how do we turn the node stabilizer off? And I think, well, probably we should apply a redstone. And before I could say redstone signal to deactivate the base, he hits it with a pickaxe. And, and what can only be described as a kind of massive Class A containment failure. Oh, God, I've got... Oh, I've got one of these tank goo things as well. Hang on. Still, at least we know how to farm tank goo. It's uh, all gone horribly wrong. Get it in the A system. Ugh. God, I've got flux flu again. Um, <sighs> yeah. yeah. Wow, look at this. Okay. Um, hmm. Some sort of sponge, maybe? It, there was an almighty explosion and, and of, of more Chernobyl-like proportions, and now I don't think we can use the lab much anymore without a serious decontamination. This is warp, everyone. Uh, oh, is it, this is flux, isn't it? It's, it's goo, anyway. It's, it's purple. It's not healthy. It's um, what happens when things go wrong in Thorncraft. And, oh, there's another... Oh, God, it's spawning the cubes. Oh, God, we're going to have to evacuate the lab, I think. Uh, no, I can solve it. You can solve it, okay. I might have invented, I might have researched something that can suck that stuff up, actually. Oh, no, there are stuff you can put on the ceiling that work. Let's have a quick look through. Uh, artifice. I remember seeing one. Here we go. Flux scrubber. Um, oh, goes outside, too. Powered with Viz. Oh, you've got to power it with Viz. We need a sponge or something. Oh, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. Where's my earth rod? God, it just went bang, and then there was, like, purple everywhere. It wasn't my fault. What happened to the node? Did the node make it? Uh, the node did not make it, but I did pick up the stabiliser. Oh, well, that's something, I suppose. It's a kind of sort of magical lava contaminant type thing that just... Wow. So I'm going to decontaminate by the time old method of just dumping blocks on top of it, which seems to get rid of it. Is it on the ceiling as well? Oh, no, that's my chance. It is on the ceiling. Oh, this is going to take forever to clean up. Not my fault. Wow, I can't believe you did that. Can we make a scrubber? Because I, I think a scrubber might be a good idea around now. Oh, I keep picking up the goo as well. Ah. Well, we can make a scrubber, but it needs pipe work power from a particular jar or something. I don't know. It's going to be a bit of a pain, I think. I think it would be quicker just to dump earth down everywhere. Although the ceiling could be awkward. Wow. So, yeah, this is what happens when you have a grade A magical catastrophe in Thorncraft. Yeah. Often associated with, well, I don't want to use the word incompetence. I was, I was going to go for evil, but you're not even going down the dark arts or anything, are you? It's remarkable there. Dev just sheer devastation involved. Mm. Oh, God. It's going to be like thousands of years before anyone can live here again. Things have, in the past, been better. Things can only get better. I think I finally can't. Uh. Anyway, um, yes. Yeah, so what were we doing before you idly decided to see what happened if you took through, went to went to delicate machinery with a pickaxe? I can't well, remember. It was <laughs> we were setting up for uh, trying to make a sinister node in a jar because we'd worked out that it turns out that there aren't actually any sinister nodes anywhere we know of because this is regrowth and nothing spawns in regrowth much apart from cracked sand as far as the mind can imagine i've lost all my infusion candles as well i picked up a bunch of them we're going to need to place those again carefully all the, the subsequent infusions we're going to have to do are going to go a bit weird we probably don't need to clean the entire lab up although those purple cubes appearing and attacking us constantly could be a bit disruptive uh that's me void bag yeah. I'm doing quite a good job on the ceiling, and by quite a good job, I mean it's taking forever. Yeah. 
Well, the road to something or other is often paved with something else that's not great. Um, oh, hello. Let's try and... Uh, wow. <laughs> that was awesome, I have to say. Although you've killed all my cool lasers as well, which is not an ideal. We need to... I know what we need to... You're using cracked sand? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Whatever. I was about to say, we need to hire some, some assistants, you know, like on uh, like on Mythbusters, they have like helpers to do the uh, heavy lifting. Whoa, God, that's purple still. There we go. We could do with like um, some decontamination specialists to sort of come in and deal with our goo when we make the goo everywhere. Mind you, I, I'm feeling very smug at the moment because he was telling me off earlier because part of my, my research into the dark arts has left me with a number of physical deformities and uh, infirmities, and one of which was the uh, embarrassing ability to drop purple goo uh, where I stand sometimes. It's yeah. kind of kind of eat dark magic incontinence. Um, but I was only leaving one or two squares of the stuff at a time, um, and he was getting all cross about that. Is this a resource we could be using? I don't know. I don't think it is, really. I'm not sure there's much you can do with this stuff. Um, don't even know if you can pick it up particularly. How do we? Hmm. Oh, my place. Interesting. Stand back. Okay. Ah, that's why. Ah, get it off. All right. Nope. Uh, okay. I guess over a certain depth, it won't actually. Uh, yeah. Up. I had that problem. Um. Just let it run on a bit then. Candle seems to work. Must be some sort of source blocks in there or something. Wow. What a mess. Fantastic. Literally fantastical. Oh god, all my candles. All my heads. Yeah, let's so put the heads on first. Now, I've got a feeling we're going to need the heads because some of these infusions we're about to attempt are going to be quite complicated. Blimey. So, yeah, Thorncraft does carry a considerable amount of faff and, and peril. Uh, it's not all just, you know, insert A and B to make C and B awesome. There's, there's badness that can go wrong. Yeah, it can quite go a, quite badly wrong. Quite a specific way. Um, I can't remember where half these candles went. It's probably not important. I'm trying to work out how to make a four candles joke here, but I'm just so tired of cleaning up purple. Go! All right. All right, that looks broadly symmetrical. It likes symmetry, this, this infusion altar. Um, Does good go on its own? No, no, I think it will just sit there for indefinitely. And also, yeah, those those purple cubes tend to be a thing that spawn out of it if you leave it too long, so probably worth clearing it up if we can. Ooh, look at that. It's, it's kind of pretty in a way. Hmm, I wouldn't be using cracked sand either. These earth. Easier to knock down. You know what, I think we could probably leave the rest. Tidy that up some other time. Okay. So, right, back on track then. Where were we? Um, from blowing up the lab. Of course, you realise that's wrecked half the uh, gubbins that was charging the wand and using those crystal things as well. Oh. Right. Anyway. Anyway, let's 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 do the thing we were going to do before it all went Pete Tong. Yeah. So the the thing we were going to do is a sinister node in a jar, which we actually have a recipe for. So I need to do an infusion, uh, which needs a whole load of obsidian tiles, which we've made a load of. We need some obsidian totems, which we need to make. We've got the sinister lodestone from last time. I need a brain in a jar as well. Let's do the brain in a jar first. So we need a warded jar. I gave you a bunch of warded jars. I've got loads of those, yeah. Do you want to do this? No, you can do it. <laughs> yeah, actually thinking about it, you should just sort of stand there and, and watch on the balcony and not touch anything, especially not the node stabilizers. Okay. Yes, I'm never going to let you live that down. Brain of jar. Yeah, water jar. I need a zombie brain. I've got a load of those somewhere in one of these bags. So I'll work out which one I put it in. Inventory hell, this game. There it is, zombie brain. 
Oh, right first time, look at that. So that goes on this one. Good. So then we need uh, two spider eyes and a bucket of water. I haven't got those. Do you want to pass me some spider eyes from the system? Um, yep. Two of. <clears throat> Brain in a jar. It's all very sci fi. Touch a twilight zone to the whole thing, to be honest. Spider eyes from space. There are. Okay, one on there and one over there. And the final component. I've got to read that short term memory problem thing. Bucket of water. Bucket of water, please. Um, you would say that when you. Oh dear, is the AE system not better? I have to make one out of water essences in a bucket. Uh, where's our nearest water supply? No, mate, look. You've got water essences in the AE system. Oh, Put four, four of them around a metal bucket and you end up with a bucket of water. Good I've point. actually got a water supply around here, actually. I suppose I often don't really need water in Thorncraft. Well, apart from now, which is a case in point, I suppose. All right, let's check we've got the right fluids for this. We need the sort of olive one, the light grey one, and the black one. Yeah. Um, hmm. That one, yeah. So how many buckets of water do you need? That one, yes. Uh, just the one. So I've made you two, then. You don't do things by halves. Ah, oh, I nearly right-clicked to put the bucket of water on. Hang on, if I shift right-click. No! Oh, God damn it. No, it's not shift. Oh, right, there go all my zombie heads. Oh. I'm an idiot. What am I? Oh, don't pick all my stuff up. Hang on. So I thought by shift-clicking it wouldn't do that, but it turns out that shift-clicking is precisely how to do that. Yeah. Uh. Silly Billy. F indeed, flibbity gibbet. Um, How many episodes have we done now? I don't know. You it would think there feels, would be some. Feels like we've been going for a very long time. Competence. Have you got one of my candles? Uh, yeah, I do actually. Oh. Candle uh, from space. <laughs> these candles are laid out in a very precise something or other. Uh, should have one there, probably. Still got two zombie heads, that's another they go. I'm not sure about using zombie heads to be honest. It seems weird. Right, I think we're ready to go. So that bucket there, I brain, brain, yeah. This is just the easy subcombine, by the way. We've got to do the real thing in a minute. Um let's just hit that and see what happens. Hopefully all that gunk on the ceiling isn't gonna make it tear a hole in time and space and devour us all. Be lucky. I do not have high hopes. Mm. Well, you know, if, 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 if the moral of this this whole series is, to be honest, what could possibly go wrong? All right, it's uh, absorbing the fluids. I think if I had the checklist of this series is what <laughs> could possibly go wrong. Oh, wow. How not to Minecraft. There we go. Brain, eyes, yeah, it's all going in. The bucket, yeah. You know, at this point, I'm really not worried about um, purple goo flying out of it at all, you know. Seen uh, things you people wouldn't lucky. believe. Oh, it, it left us the bucket. Look, all right, so that back. Uh, there it is, brain in a jar. Look at that. Ew. Oh, it's got eyes on it. Red glowing eyes as well. Oh, not seen the brain in a jar. Brain in a jar. Hang on. Let me. That's actually I've got to put the brain in a jar in the thing anyway. So sinister no brain in a jar. Brain in a jar goes. Where's the brain in a jar go? Brain in a jar goes there. Okay, stick that on that one. There we go. Have a look at the brain in the jar. Doesn't look like a friendly brain in a jar, you know? Ew, you know no. feeling if its spinal cord was connected to anything at all, it'd be tearing us to bits by now. Why does the brain have eyes? I don't know. To get to the other side. A spider eyes, isn't it? That's what we made it out of. We did that. We're monsters. We are monsters. Right, so obsidian tile, obsidian tile, obsidian tile, obsidian tile, that's fine. Totem, 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 yeah, totem, right, so hang on, so, uh, brrr. that one, no. What if the position actually matters on this diagram? Uh, just balanced, I believe. It's balanced, yeah, right, so probably, oh, we'll just stick it here then. That one, and that one, and that, that one, one, that one, that one, and that one. That one, no. Right, then we need to. Uh, oh, hang on, lodestone goes on as well. That's the thing we made last time. I hope this doesn't destroy the lodestone because that was quite fiddly to make. Right. right. You've um, guaranteed it will. Yeah. Oh, well, we've, we've already had our massive catastrophe this episode already. I think we're fine. 
at uh, Obsidian Totem, which is... Oh, right, hang on. So, yeah. Right, we have to use our special big tea samovar thing. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> uh, Obsidian Totem, yes. Right, fetch me some jars. Here we go. We need six different jars plugged into this machine here. Find the alien purple one with the solar system. Uh, I'll get the Aurum, which is the pink sun. Why do we need that one? Where? Oh, Down here. Here. Uh, in here. Yeah, we're turning these obsidians into okay. actual okay. totems. Uh, okay. Next, you'll need the olive skull. Uh, I'll get the tombstone. Well, the, the the green one that looks like a... green with the skull. Yeah, a tombstone. Yeah. There's a lot of quite evil aspects going into this. I'm beginning to feel ominousized. Okay, um, what's next? Oh, that's going down quickly. Tenebre, which is the dark sort of solar eclipse black jar. Oh, the evil one. And I need to get the earth jar. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, because the system will only accept four things, we have to swap the jars. So if you take one of the any of the jars off, oh, well, I'll do it. Take any of the jars, swap. It keeps what it's already taken, so you don't have to have all six connected at once, which is useful. I really don't like this new pipe system. I don't have the old pipe system. Too easy. People enjoying themselves. Right, there we go. One. Oh, I gained warp, apparently. Congratulations. <laughs> Add it to the rest. Okay. Uh, I've got nausea. Yeah, you could probably get that from just standing near me, to be honest. I am pretty evil at this point. Okay. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. It's been an easy way of doing this, golems or something. And the earth jar. There it goes, charging, charging, charging. I hope we don't run out of this stuff before we finish this. We only need four of these, so... Oh, we're getting more warp. Blimey, referee. Yeah, you I guess it's not gaining warp. Am I getting warp for using this machine? Ah, oh, God, that's the point. Mm. Get warp for everything. It's like they don't want me to learn unholy secrets of the universe or something. See after now. Hello. Alien jar. Alien jar. Oh, I'm holding it. Hang on. There we go. Alien jar. Star jar. Yep, there it goes. Oh, this could be a problem if we run out of that star stuff. We don't need it for the main event, but uh, it's only the third one. No, I think we'll be all right. It'll be quite tight. That star stuff comes only from very few things, one of which is the weird guardian spirits that sometimes materialise out of the fog to attack me for being evil. So, you know, we can sort of farm it a bit. It's a bit fraught, though. I mean, as a lifestyle choice, I'm quite quite getting used to the evil, you know, the un unholy knowledge and all that. It's always good to uh, embrace the truth of who you are. I oh, know, I never realised I was quite so capable of evil before, really, you know. I always thought of myself as, you know, generally on the forces of good, if not just indifference. But... Right, three. Uh, one more, and I think we're ready to go for the big thing, but I really hope the big thing doesn't screw anything up too badly, because I don't think we've got enough gubbins left to do the uh, required sub-combines again. I have to stand around and wait to be attacked by emissaries from the void. Again. I know. There's a monster farm to not have to worry about. Okay, tombstone. No, I'm still holding that one. Yeah, there it goes. Next one, the darkness. Yep, taking that. And the earth jar. Yep. Pop. Right, four obsidian totems. Stick those. We can stop dropping crack sand on my delicately balanced infusion altar, please. I'm, I, I, on the plus <laughs> side, I've made the purple go away. On this floor, you missed one, and also the uh, the uh, Venetian cupola dome thing needs a good grabbing as well on the top floor. Oh, I'm that's worried. complicated by uh, not being a floor to stand on as well. <laughs> <laughs> off camera, yeah, off camera, right. So uh, you could have made it out of wood; that would have solved the problem. But just burn the whole place up. We might have to do that anyway. Obsidian totems, there, 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 and there. Right. Okay, so that's one on. No. Oh, I missed. God, I hope they can pickaxe up. Oh, it's obsidian, isn't it? All right, join us next week when <laughs> I'll still be digging this block up. No, there it is. Good. Right. That one goes on here. That one goes on there. That one goes on there. Right, that should be able to. Oh. 
<laughs> Guess what I forgot? What? The widget in the middle. Widget in the middle is an empty... Oh, it's a node in a jar. Right, over to you. You need to create me a node in a jar. I can't do that. Can you? You haven't done the research for that either? No, I haven't done uh, any research. Oh, right. Well, you can put the jars that are under the samovar back on the ceiling attachments. That would be helpful. Oh, a node in a jar. Let's go and find a node. We've got 11 in the system. Oh, there's a really rubbish node up on top, which you could take from, I think. Uh, I'm trying to not have to dismantle the floor of the... Uh... No, I'll put one on a hillside that's not very good. We can have that. Yeah, okay. Also, uh, whatever you do, mm -hmm. don't destroy the stabiliser. Oh, more goo outside. No, I'm going to get one of the ones out in the wild. I'll put a few on the hillsides nearby. Um, but first, so node in a jar. Node in a jar. Node in a jar. Uh, brain in a jar. No, nope. Where's the node in a jar? It's back on the main page, is it? Node in a jar. Yeah, so the glass blocks and wood slab, any sort. Okay, good. Quite a lot of them, though. A system. And then we're going to need the big wand as well. Glass. Oh, yep. Yeah. 64. I should probably do it. And slabs. Let's make sure it's one of the ones the game understands. Yeah, there spruce. So many sort of weird mod versions of wood that the, the game doesn't think is a slab. And that's yeah. really quite awkward. Right. So, that's interesting. Yeah, that's good, because we... Well, I, I did this off-camera last, so you can see... So dear viewer couldn't see how, how it works. Right, um... Oh, hello. Little skeleton with a hat on there. Pa! I've been attacked by creepier things than you out of my own experiments. Right. So, uh... Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh, hello, witch. So, it's fairly straightforward. That's quite a nice one, though. Is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, find a rubbish one. I think this one's rubbish. Hillside here. Oh, we can take the one out of the tree, actually. Oh, yeah. Because then I can knock that down and take the saplings out. Have you got an axe? No. No, okay. Uh, you're not really much, much use this episode, are you? No, not at all. <laughs> right, iron hatchet. So the tree... Now, yeah. Oh, hang on, I've still got some of the aspect jars as well. God, they put those back. <clears throat> <clears throat> Basically, the trick with these ones in the tr so silverwood saplings have the chance of growing a node inside them when they turn from a sapling into a tree, which is how you get new nodes, and it's all very lovely. But if you knock the well, tree a down, node and a <clears throat> node. Yeah. And you, if you knock the tree down, if you basically chop it out, it uh, kills the node as well. So what you have to do is do the node in a jar, but leave the block of wood in the middle, and that then allows you to take the node out. Without losing, losing it through shopping. So let's see. P carefully prune out <coughs> the space we need, and on top as well. You want to collect all that wood? I've got no inventory space. Oh no, I have. Sorry. Yep. It's just, no, it's not picking up. Am I lagging? Probably lagging. You're not moving. Oh no. Oh no, there it goes. Woo! He's just walking around here, yeah, a bit of lag there. Ooh, right. So, that, 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 that. Oh, and I've I'm, gone. I'm not seeing you move at all. I've gone to the title screen, some Java IO exception. Hang on. I'm coming right back. Stupid internet. <clears throat> the internet is stupid. Don't we know we're recording like groundbreaking television here? Right. Hello, I'm back. Am I moving? Yeah. Okay, right, let's try this again. So, a layer of glass underneath. Essentially, what you're building is a massive jar. So, we'll put another layer around. Like so. Bet this doesn't that. Then a layer. Let me check the book. Is that a solid layer or a hollow layer on the top? No, it's solid layer, right? Okay. And then, huh? Oh, where's my axe? The wood slabs go on the top as the sort of lead. Make a bit more room up here. You notice I'm not using the mega chopper that takes the whole tree out because that will take yeah. the node, the node with it. So one block at a time. Uh, right, slab, slab, slab. 
Slab, 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 slab. Right, that's done. Now you need a wand that's got a hundred. Is it 75 or 100? Let me check. 70. 70 vis. That basically that basically means you have to use a silver wood wand with the gold or the thorn, thorny caps. Can't use any of the great wood ones because they don't have enough oomph in them. And check you've got enough in there. Um, I've got 100 of each sort, so if I right click this. Yay. Boing! There it is. Right. And then that there jar you can just bash with your fist and pick up like it's uh, like any other sort of jar. Boom. Right, so that node is preserved. It damages it a bit when you're doing it, unless you've done extra research to reduce the uh, the chance of it happening. I think there's a special jar you can make. I don't care. We just need any old node in here. So that's got air or um, per detour, and it's it's stable at the moment. It won't regenerate while it's in a jar. <clears throat> so to put the node where you want, you put you place the jar down, and then you, I think you right click it with the wand to to smash it, and it becomes a node again on the landscape. Uh, it says in the book, I think. Free the node from the jar, place it in the world, and click it with a wand. The jar destroyed, and it becomes a node again. Yeah. What we want to do is shove it in the middle on our infusion table. Shove it in the middle. That's what happens. So we're going to make this node sinister, probably. Right now, so I'll just quick run around, make sure we've got all the right coloured fluids. Um, do, do, do. I love fluid. Yeah. Don't like the word fluid. It seems distasteful somehow. Right, it's sinister in a jar. So we need sixteen examinus, which is the olive skull. Um, where did that go? You've moved it. You got in there. We got twenty. <laughs> so we've got enough we've got enough room for this to go right the first time. Okay. Good. It'll go fine. That'll go that'll be alright, yeah. Um that's the that yeah, plenty of that. And the other stuff is tenebrae. Tenebrae. There it is, that's fine too. Whew, right. Here we go, go for it. You reckon? Yeah. Uh, let me just check I've got the right stuff on the, yeah, each pedestal. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's made the noise. Okay, it's thinking about it. <clears throat> Should be absorbing some liquid. Here it comes, yeah, that's the olive stuff. Keep an eye on the pedestals, make sure nothing pops off. Yeah, that's taking that fluid from the grave jar. <clears throat> Just needs the darkness. This doesn't go this just doesn't give out warp, I don't know what it does. <clears throat> I'm hoping the candles and skulls are helping keep it all stable. But oh yeah, there we go. It's starting to eat some of the blocks. Yeah, there it goes. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And it's taken the note, the brain in the jar, which is good. Yeah, the blocks are all going in. I've got a good feeling about this. Uh, uh. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Ow! Oh, it bit me. Oh, that's all right. I can cope with that. That's not a problem. Sometimes if you stand too close, it electrocutes you. But uh, I'm all right. Nearly there. Oh, hang on, no, that one fell off. I'm all, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Ah, uh, quick. Yeah, so you've got to do that quickly or it's going to start absorbing extra fluid and I haven't got much spare, that's the problem. I think it, I think it worked. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sinister node in a jar. It's <laughs> my evil laugh there, see. Claim reward. Can't claim Eat reward. potato. Hang on. That's probably a detection task, isn't it? Yes. What does it wants to do next? I bet it wants us to put it on an obsidian pedestal thing. Oh, sinister, sinister node in a jar. Claim reward. To oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, you need inventory space. That's all. Yeah, I'm really out of inventory space. Sinister nodes in jars don't stack, it seems. So uh, all right, let's chuck a load of things back in the A system. Can't chuck stuff in the A system at the moment. This seems to be taking my stuff. Yeah, here we go. Right. Since the node in a jar. I think we've done a quest. I'm always slightly surprised and, and pleased when that happens, because... Hey! You know what? I think we've finished the thought... Well, no, I don't... Well, there's no more available Thorncrafty quests anyway. Let's go back to the thing. So that's saying... Uh, what was that? The World Feels is Thorncraft... So that's 87% complete, but there's no new quests to do in there. Yeah, that's going to come up. Other Something stuff, else yeah. has got to unlock back into here, I suppose. So we need to spend... So, so for now, that's the end of our Thorncraft Excellent. adventure. Next time, let's do a different quest then, which isn't Thorncraft, because I, I think Thorncraft is very nearly under control, apart from the fact I looked up again and remembered it's not. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go away and spend a lot of time with very long-handled mops uh, and, and magical decontamination facilities. Uh, join us next time. See you then. Goodbye.